Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hey, 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 hello, 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 hello. It's Sunday. Oh my gosh, it's been an awesome Sunday so far and I expect it to carry on being awesome until I go to bed. And even then, it shall carry on being awesome. Hello, welcome to the Church of RNK. This is Rosemary Nonny Knight. I forgot to put that in the title. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. I was reading this morning during my um, awesome quiet time. Um, this, this little passage here, let me just read it out to you. Our hearts would never ask us to do something that we could not survive. Say that again. Our hearts would never ask us to do something that we could not survive. And I loved that. I was reading it in a book. It was, it was pretty, I don't know, I don't know, it just really spoke to me because sometimes we kind of get into this, this thought, this mindset that the things that we are called to do, the things that we really want our life to be about, it's impossible. We think that it's impossible. We think that it's, we can't do it. We think, oh, it's too big. It's too delusional to think that we can do that thing. And so then we don't. <laughs> We don't do it. We don't do it. We don't do it. And then we're waking up every morning and we're feeling a little bit like, oh, is this life? Is this it? Is this all there is to it? But what if you truly, 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 truly believed that your heart would never allow you or would never bring something to you or spirit would never bring something to you that you're not capable of actually making come alive? What if you truly believed that? That actually, because you know I say this all the time, your vision is your permission, but this is a different way of saying it. That if you have this idea inside of you to do something, it's because you are exactly the person to make it happen. Not because it's impossible for you, not because it's too big for you, not because it's strange and ah, you can do it. But you know what? You have to trust. You have to trust that you can do it. You have to trust that it is possible for you. Hello. <laughs> You have to trust that it is within your remit. If not, you you keep second guessing, you keep doubting, you keep delaying. And you know what? I'm go I'm, I'm just I'm just uh, yeah. I was just going through that a little bit this morning because I felt as if I was being stripped away of something else, of different areas of my life. Again, this feeling that I, that was more that needed to be stripped away from me in order for me to fully be on my path. Okay. <laughs> hey, Kayan. I'm glad I'm speaking to your heart, honey. But it's like, and, and this, so today there's been some stuff that I've been preparing and such, and some of you might see it, some of you might not, I don't know, because it almost feels like a, a different part of RNK or Rosemary Non Unite. And yet it feels like it's the next evolution, it's the next step. And I was scared and suddenly I realized because I spent so much time speaking to my awesome clients and trying to help them get past their own fears. And then you suddenly realize when you're stepping into something new, just how fierce the fear can be. <laughs> Where it's just like holding you and you're trying to find anything to do except the thing that you think you need to do next. And it's like, and, and, and in that moment, I realized I wasn't trusting that if I was presented with this thing, it was because I was exactly the person to make it happen. And I say this all the time to people and, and that it's that my vision is my permission. And also that my, my heart would never ask me to do something that I wouldn't survive. I just love that. I just love that statement. Your heart will never ask you to do anything that you will not survive. If you would truly believe it. Yes, yeah, stepping into the new fierce fear and an even more fierce love to do just that. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely the truth. And suppose we just choose to live in trust. And I suppose in the end I did make that decision. You know what? I choose to live in trust. I choose to live in trust. I choose to live in trust. I choose to live in trust that it's the right thing to do. And even if it's not the right thing to do, so what? I'm going to survive it. It doesn't matter. So, so what? Let me try, okay? Let me put myself out there in that new way and see what happens. So what if it doesn't completely happen? Guess what? I will be stronger for it. I will be huger. I will be more expanded for it. And who knows? It could actually be the next evolution of Rosemary Nonny Knight. <laughs> Love this too. Absolutely. <laughs> so in which case... Why not? Give it all a go. Give it a go. So we're going to sing this affirmation. We're going to sing this affirmation before I forget it in my mind. Let's sing. I trust that I can. I trust that I can. Oh, I trust that I can. No, oh, I can. Yes, I can. I trust that I I trust that I can, no, I 
can. Yes, I can. So that is the affirmation. And I want you to take it on board. I trust that I can. And you know what? Yeah, we're trusting ourselves because first and foremost, you gotta, you gotta, you know, put that self doubt aside for a second, okay? And trust yourself, but then also trust the wisdom inside of you. Trust that nothing would be coming to you. Trust your intuition. Trust that nothing would be coming to you that is beyond your reach. Trust that you can. And then just make a start. Because sometimes people get all up in their head, worried about how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, you do know. It's just that the fear sometimes confuses you, makes you look just at the obstacles in your path instead of seeing the, the whole forest, the whole vision. You can do it. Okay, you can do it. You may choose not to. That's a different story altogether. But you can do it. You can choose to step up, to elevate, to expand. If it's that business you need to start, yes, you can figure out how to get it off the ground. Yes, that relationship, you can figure out how to sort it out. Whatever it is in your life that you're trying to or you're holding back from fully stepping into, honey, you can. If you have the vision for it, if you feel the call in your heart to do it, regardless of what adversity or challenge or whatever is in your path right now, you can do it. You can, you can, you can. <laughs> I can do it and I choose to trust, yes. And that's the thing. Because the only reason why sometimes we don't actually move forward is because we feel we're alone in this. And I know that we've all gone through experiences where it has felt like we are alone, that we have to sort it out. but if you look back, you know what you came through? And you came through stronger than before you went in. And yes, you may have gone through a season where you really did feel alone and abandoned in it all, and I get that. And I wish there was always an explanation for it, but there isn't. You know, I was about to try and explain it away, but I can't. I'm not even going to try and make excuses for the universe or anything like that. But the, all I know is this, you are still standing. And you are stronger than ever before. And though we may not understand always why we go through some of the stuff that we go through, okay, yes. It's like I can look at my, my bankruptcy, I can look at my depression, and I can, know, I can see where the steps I was taking led me down that path. But sometimes it's not so clear. Sometimes it feels like, but I tried to do everything right, and yet things went wrong. But guess what? You're still standing. It doesn't mean life is over. It doesn't mean that you're done. It just means that you went through some hard stuff, you got stronger, and now you are more capable of dealing with the next thing. So don't let your past story now define that you never move forward into something else. Because again, that's what happens. Sometimes people, you, you went through this horrible experience and then you start to continually live from that old experience thinking, I best not put myself out there ever again because the last time, man, I just barely got through. <laughs> but it's not the truth. I know it feels like the truth though. You need to know that you're a new person right now. You're a different person. You've gone through some stuff, absolutely. But that stuff has strengthened you for the next part of your journey, unless you keep living in the old part of your journey. And I hope that you don't. I hope you make a decision to trust that actually you are able, more than able, to do the thing in your heart to do that you don't just keep talking about how you're going to impact people and influence people and change lives and all of this stuff, but you're actually going to be someone who does it, that you choose to trust, that your heart would never ask you to do something that you will not survive. That spirit within would never take you somewhere you don't want to go. That really it knows, you know that you want to go there. It's just that fear. It's just that fear. It's just that fear, and you have to choose to trust that you can. Because people can talk at you, you can get all the strategies everywhere, the tips, the tricks, the strategies, but until you actually choose to move them feet, nothing changes, my honey. <laughs> you gotta move those feet. You've gotta choose to move. You've gotta choose to move, okay? Let's sing this again. <sighs> I trust that I can. Nope, wrong key. Let's try that again. There we are. I trust that I can. I trust that I can. No, oh, I trust that I can. No, oh, I can. 
Yes, I can. I trust that I can. I trust that I can. No, oh, I trust that I can. No, oh, I can. Yes, I can. Let that be your affirmation today. I trust that I can. Whatever it is, big, small, whatever it is that you're trying to hold back from, please remember these words that your heart would never ask you to do something that you will not survive. Your vision is your permission. The work always works. All the wonderful things that I always say. <laughs> it is the truth, okay? It is the truth. You weren't given an idea, a vision, a calling that you couldn't fulfill. You are exactly the person to make it happen. Sometimes the going is tough for sure, but if you trust, you will make it through to the other side. So please choose to trust, okay? Okay, and on that note, short though this may be, <laughs> I'm bringing it to a close. Guys, have you seen um, Against All Odds, I Win? If you haven't, go have a look at it. It's actually at rosemarynonnyknight.com forward slash against all odds. And it really is for you, because you know what? I've been through some crazy challenges in my life, the same as most of y'all in this place. And uh, some of you are actually currently going through stuff that seems to just keep knocking you off your perch, <laughs> okay? And so you kind of feel as if you're going from one challenge to another challenge, and you can't seem to get past and move forward and go where you want to go. And that's what this boot camp is about. It's about helping you get your mind in the right place because you need to develop mental toughness to overcome all of these adversities and challenges. That, adversities, is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> overcome the challenges that come your way anyway. And also to deliberately design that highly profitable business you want as well as the purpose-driven life that you want that makes a difference. And you know what? All of this adversity, all of the challenges actually give you an advantage if you use it in that way because your story can either put you down or your story can elevate you. It all depends on how you choose to react to your story, whether you choose to react or whether you choose to be proactive about your story. So if you are choosing to be proactive and if you're done with kind of going around and around in circles and never quite getting to where you want to go because there's always some kind of drama or something pulling you off course, then I ask you to go and have a look at rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash against all odds. Go and have a look at it, okay? We're starting on Wednesday, I think it is. So, is it Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know. It says on the page. <laughs> Go and have a look at it, okay? I just love, I love the Against All Odds I Rise name because I still remember standing on a stage and singing my heart out to Yolanda Adams. And still I rise, never to give up, never to give in against all odds. That was my song. <laughs> so, yes, Against All Odds, we rise. If that's you choosing to rise, over to rosemaryonnynight.com forward slash against all odds. Looking forward to working with you for 10 days to do this stuff. Until the next time, my honeys, it's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you were born to live. Remember, I trust that I can. I trust that I can. Oh, I trust that I can. Yes, I can. Oh, I can. And much love, much love. Go forth and prosper. Okay. <laughs> Bye.